In this problem, we will add two harmonic motions. The particular case for this problem is that the two harmonic motions that we are adding have very similar frequency. One is 29 and the other one is 30. That means that we have only one radians per second different between the two frequencies. So we would add 3 sine of 30t plus 3 sine of 29t. To do that, we will recall the trigonometric identity. That adding sine of a plus sine of b give me 2 sine of a plus b over 2 times cosine of a minus b over 2. So in this case then we plug those numbers and get the result of that. If this is 2 times 3 sine of 59 over 2 times cosine of 1 half t. The cosine represents the amplitude of the function and the sine of 59 over 2 times represents actually the harmonic motion. So let's graph this equation to understand better what is happening. So I have here the graph. I did this in Excel. You can use any graphing software that you like or you can program this in MATLAB or, or any other software that you use. And this phenomenon is called beeps. And it occurs only when the two frequencies that we are adding are very similar. As you see, the amplitude is represented by this red line that I am drawing and that's the 6 cosine of t half function. And then we have the blue uh, function, which is the sine of 59 over 2. So the 59 over 2 is actually 29, which is the frequency of one of functions, plus 1 half. Where does that 1 half come? The frequency of the resultant function will be 29 plus delta, which is the difference between the two functions, over half. 1 is the difference between those two function. And the amplitude, as I said, is the 6 cosine of t half and it varies for a maximum of 6 when t is equals to 0 or every period and it goes to 0, right? As you see that it, when it crosses the axis. So the maximum is 6 and the minimum is 0. The frequency that we will read in the graph is 2 pi over delta. Since delta is 1, which is the difference between the two frequencies, the period in this case is 2 pi, which is the 6.26 that you see in the graph, and then the frequency will be 2 pi over that period, and it means that is 2 pi over 2 pi, right, which is then 1. So it's 1 radian over second. In general, when we have two functions with similar frequencies, like for example x1 t equals to x sine of omega t and x2 x sine of omega plus delta t, and delta is very small, so the function at x1 plus x2 becomes to x cosine of delta t over 2 times sine of omega plus delta half time. The sine wave with frequency omega plus om delta half is almost sine wave equals to sine omega. And the amplitude of this wave varies with the 2x cosine of delta t over half. 
whenever the amplitude reaches a maximum is called a beat. The frequency delta at which the amplitude goes from 2x to 0 is known as the beat frequency and is equals to delta. This maximum amplitude is called a beat. This phenomenon of beat is observed in structures and in machines when the frequency of external forces is similar but not exactly equal to the natural frequency. It also is observed in electrical powerhouses and is very much studied in acoustic because two sounds slightly different in frequency can be perceived as a periodic variation with the different frequencies of the two original frequencies.